Greetings, I'm Yap from Malaysia and I'm studying at Tokai University, Japan. I want to present our research with title Team Porous PDMS Membrane Prepare by Phase Separation Method and its Application for Sales Culture. Start with the introduction and background. Microphysiological System MPS consists of a promising tool for study organ interaction in vitro. Some MPS with porous membrane integrated are useful for studying cells biology. The common cells culture membrane are made from PET, PET and polycarbonate PC, both of which are rigid polymer and not appropriate for cells that require a deformable membrane such as lung and gut cells. Also, the PET and PC membrane would tear after applying pressure on it, as the diagram shows. Furthermore, the porosity of PET membrane is low and the PC membrane is semi-transparent, which causing difficult of cells observations. This means a soft and deformable high porosity membrane is needed. Previous research showed that a PDMS porous membrane was made by using a pillar mold However, the cells in the device were poured into the bloodstream channel with the 10 micrometer pore size. Moreover, the membrane still having a low porosity, which is 4.62%. Next, the PDMS porous membrane preparation in this research was using the phase separation method by using the spin quarter. The porous structure is induced by evaporating the solvent with high speed rotations. Our research aim was to fabricate the PDMS porous membrane by using phase separations. The requirement of the porous membrane will be 1 micrometer to 10 micrometer of membrane thickness, higher porosity, small pore size that below 5 micrometer, and cell culturability. The material we used in the fabrication was the PDMS molecular weight 800 to 5000 polystyrene and toluene. The membrane solutions was mixed with a different weight ratio of each material. First, create a PVA sacrifice layer on the silicon substrate. Then, add the mixed solution onto the substrate and spin it at 7000 rounds per minute. After that, back in the 85 degrees Celsius oven for 24 hours. Second, dip the membrane into the toluene to melt the polystyrene on the membrane to form a porous structure. Then, attach the cell culture insert onto the membrane with the non-toxic double side tap and dip into the water to dissolve the PVA. Finally, a PDMS porous membrane integrated cells culture inserts was complete. The different weight ratio of membrane was showing here. And the right top column shows the thickness of the membrane. The chart on the left side shows the weight ratio of the torrent. And the top chart shows the weight ratio of polystyrene in the solutions. With a lower weight ratio of torrent in the solutions, the membrane solutions become high concentration and unable to form a porous structure like the diagram showing. Here showing the porosity and the average pore size of different weight ratio membranes. Membrane 1.5 by 10, the polystyrene times PDMS times torun had the highest porosity. However, Handling was difficult due to the 600 nanometer thickness. The membrane's 1.7.5-7.5 has the second highest porosity and he says 2.02 micrometer thickness, which is capable of handling. So the membrane's 1.7.5-7.5 was chosen for the rest of the experiment. Next, 
we made a hypothesis that a porosity affects the speed of diffusion. So we chose rhodamine 123 and dextron to test the rate of diffusion on a different porous membrane. The fusion substance was mixed with the PBS. The concentration of rhodamine 123 was 3 micromole, dextron 1 micromole. The diffusion time is 24 hours. The division rate of low molecular weight substance was not affected by the porosity from the result below. However, the diffusion rate of high molecular was affected by the porosity. Moreover, we make a straight test comparison of PET membrane and PDMS membrane. The straight test was set on the water surface to prevent membrane bending and the experiment setup was shown as a diagram below. The puller will pull the membrane and record the stress at strength. The pulling speed of the straight test was 1.5 mm per minute. From the result, the lower of young modulus value, the softer the materials. The young modulus value of PET membrane was 1000 times greater than the PDMS membrane from the result below. Furthermore, the young modulus value between the porous versus non-porous was not statistically significant. To test the cell culturability of the PDMS porous membrane, the Kakotsu was chosen for experiment. The seeding density was 1 times 10 powers of 5 cells per centimeter square. The collagen 1P from Nita Gelatin was used as an extra cellular matrix. The graph below showing the TR of cells proliferations. The cells was growing well as the TR value increase. The diagram on the right side show the proliferation of cells. Conclusions Our research was thin porous PDMS membrane prepared by phase separation method and its application for cells culture. The discussion of the research was the PDMS porous membrane can be adjusted by changing the weight ratio of each material. The polystyrene distribution could be disturbed by the concentration of the solutions. Furthermore, the porosity affects the diffusion speed on high molecular weight material. In conclusion, the PDMS porous membrane has the cell's culturability. We made a comparison of the PDMS porous membrane between the previous research. We achieved a higher porosity and smaller pore size of porous membrane compared to the pre previous research. The PDMS porous membrane made by using phase separation method can be applied to cells assay. Thank you.